what's up guys thanks for tuning in to yet another episode of my basic ass life happy monday so um yeah today me and mama are gonna go and search for a dining room table hopefully there we go y'all sorry for the lighting sorry for the lighting okay anyway so my cheap ass and mama we're gonna go look for a dining room table so my plan is to go to a couple thrift places and also to Ikea to see if we can find one um, within my price range that I have in my mind. Okay, so um, that's what we're planning on doing. And yeah, so I decided I should vlog today. Say hey moms. So, um, so yeah. So I'll take you guys along with me for that. Thanks for tuning in. And yeah, see you in the next clip. Mama, oh, my all, what would you think of it? We've been on this long road accumulating luggage. And as time proceeds, preoccupied with everything, I think it's about time that we sing of nothing. What's up? We've been on this long road accumulating luggage. And as time proceeds, preoccupied with everything, I think it's about time that I sing of nothing. Go! Go! All right, y'all. So we are outside of, what is it? It's called Furniture with the Heart. Yeah, it's like a <coughs> thrift furniture store. Thrift furniture. I, I filmed it here before, but it was like a long time ago. But, um, yeah, so I'm going here first to see if we can find a table. If I can film in there, the seat stuff I'm seeing, I will, but I don't know because I got this big old camera. I'm not using my phone. So, we shall see. But, uh, yeah, so me and Mama about to go and see what we can see in here. So, y'all, we see this one. This little one, and it's 68 bucks it's old but it would serve my purpose let's see this is a cute one it's got the lift up leaves for 104 mm, let's see 160 i like this one this one's cute but it'd probably be too big for the space how much is this one 268 for that one. 268. Ooh, this one's 40, y'all. This will serve my purpose pretty well. I could probably fit this in the car right now. If the royal tells me how to lay the seats down. Probably. So y'all look at this one. So I'm thinking that I might get this one. Because it's a uh, Wait, mama, don't call nobody yet because I'm filming. But, uh, yeah, but this was $40, y'all. So, thinking about that one, let's just look around. Let's see. So, y'all, I changed my mind about the retro one that I saw. And so, I'm getting this, which is like a dinette-style table and a coffee table. And, um... The dinette table is 25 and then the coffee table is 12. So that's what I'm getting. And I like it. Blurry focus. There we go. <laughs> but um, so yeah, I decided on those two. And so we're getting that first store. But now I need to find four chairs. So I'm still gonna go to IKEA and I am going to use the rest of my budget. Um, to see if maybe I can find some chairs that need some assembly and that will fit on this. So that's the goal. So I'll see you guys when we get to Ikea. So we are looking for chairs in Ikea. And I'm going to show you all this room because it's so nice. Isn't this cool? This will be a perfect kitchen, right? I like this kitchen. And I like that the that the cooktop is in the middle I like the backsplash oh so nice but yeah so I'm still looking for chairs that's $159 for that chair I know what I'm saying look at this chair y'all this chair it's not even a cute chair <laughs> mommy are you blocking the shot I'm trying not to the chair so that's the chair $159 the chair I think not so um yeah we're trying to find a chair that would match I'm trying to decide what size 
chair too. I know most of the chairs you have to assemble. Y'all, look at this kitchen. Isn't this one nice? I like the back splash too. And I like this uh this countertop, like kind of eat-in countertop. What? Is that a convection? Ooh. And they self-close. I love So nice. I kind of like this little convectioner oven thing. This is cute. What? Oh, yeah. And I like the backsplash and I like the vent, all this stuff. I like the lighting too. The lighting is cute. How much is that by itself? That's a nice one. Look at, oh, wait, close it. It looks like a part of the cabinet cabinets. I like this. Oh, I'm loving this. That's very Trash nice. Pan. Very nice. I like it. It's super nice. I like the lighting too. Everything's nice. Y'all, this one's nice too. This is more my style, I think. Definitely my style. Super nice. This is my style. The wood, like wood theme. Oh, so nice. I even like the little dining room area. This is like so my style. Super nice. Still have not found chairs, but we found kitchens. <laughs> I like it too. Very nice. I even like this little area right here. That's very cute. So y'all, we not we did not find chairs. So how'd you like your IKEA experience today? I've seen a couple of things that I dream about, but I would never get. <laughs> well, so we didn't get chairs. So what I think I'm going to do, y'all, is um, I think I'm going to go on IKEA website and I am going to um, like see what they have on there for chairs because it's just easier when I could just look on the website instead of having to walk around the store. So I think I'm going to do that. And if I see any, I'll get it. I know somebody gonna ask me. I can't remember if I vlogged since I had my henna tattoo in my hands, um, but it's like faded now. It's like mostly, actually on the camera, it looks way darker than it does in real life, which is interesting. Hmm. But yeah, so this I had got, I went to a henna party last Saturday for my friend, uh, Tabitha, and um, they did henna tattoos and stuff and I got mine on my hand because like on the palm of my hand because I wasn't sure if it would have been like if it would show up on my skin but she did the lady did do one to see if it would show up on my skin and it did you can't really see it now because it's it's uh faded out but it came up pretty good she did it as a test because she had never done a black person either but anyway it was nice and it was fun and I got this uh design and it's faded now it actually looks way darker on here but it's faded now yep and that was like it's been like a week it's been a full week and two days since i got this done and you can still see it but like in person it's like very light so if you ever think about doing henna it lasts a while it definitely lasts a while because this is from wa washing my hands and everything and it's still still on there but anyway so yeah I did that I did not film it because I always feel weird like filming because like now I actually have friends y'all people who we talk to and go to the house and stuff I ain't used to that I don't want to scare people off with my camera yep. <laughs> all right y'all so we're at the fair well we're trying to get to the fair we're on a trolley so there's a trolley and um, can you, you know, please not? We had no. 614 James. He is so retarded. Anyway, so we're on like a little shell a shuttle thing. And like the fair is like way over there. About a mile from here. Yeah, it's like a mile away. So um yeah. I'm gonna like the quality is gonna change out between the camera and the my phone because um it's easier for me to put music to footage on my phone. So um so the quality is gonna change, but um, yeah. So we're on our way, and we'll see y'all when we get there.
didn't die, y'all. So, um, we took the little gondola thing. I didn't die. So, there's the, there's the thing we're on. So, now we have to meet back up with people that we came with because they didn't take the thing because they have a baby and a stroller. So, we'll see. I'm gonna try to remember to vlog for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna go find something to get into. Lee Royal is probably gonna be the one that's filming the most on rides so that you can see it because I'm not getting on any rides. I literally thought I was gonna die on the one that I was on, and that wasn't even an official ride. Oops, sorry, boo. -boo. But uh, yeah. Y'all, Lee Royal is about to go down the slide. <laughs> Look at him coming down the slide. He's like a big kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> How was it? It feels like you're about to fall off of it. I like it. Okay, y'all, so now we're gonna go find other rides. So, y'all. So apparently, on one of the rides, six people flew off of a ride. You know somebody just fell off a ride? Yeah, the yeah. They just told me. Some other people tell me somebody died. flew off. They died. Oh my God! They said somebody died. Like the uh, off the fireball ride, uh, six people flew off. Like the thing completely flew off, and somebody died. Like a few minutes ago. Y'all. That's scary. Babe, that ride right there, the fireball ride? Yeah, he said it killed four people. Yeah, the whole thing just came flying off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that's why I don't ride rides. This is why I don't ride rides. Woo, scary. That's scary. So you're not at all concerned? One side of it. They didn't close the whole thing. That's crazy. What? Nah, fam. No. Ooh, that's scary. That is very, very scary. Okay, y'all. So apparently, they're supposed to be closing the fair down because of the death. So uh, as of right now, I think it's like one or two people dead and like six critically injured. So there's like an exodus happening from the other side of the of the thing, and they closed down rides, and it's the last ride. So, I don't know. I guess I'll let you guys know what I know, but look at the hub. He only got to ride two rides. He looks upset. I feel bad. Yeah, so the fair looked like it was a bust this year, y'all. I don't know.